Hey, welcome back. Thanks for being patient for this last video. I was dealing with moving and that took a while. But anyway, we're going to move on to uh, putting this bad boy up on Firebase hosting so uh, anybody can see it. Um, so this is the documentation for Firebase hosting. If you have your project uh, up, what we're going to do is make sure that the Firebase tools are installed. So we're going to do npm install dash g for global Firebase dash tools. Now that that's finished up, we can run Firebase init. So you're going to initialize a Firebase project. Cool. We can hit enter. We're going to arrow down to hosting and hit space. And you should see a star. Hit enter. We're going to create a new project. If you have an existing project on uh, Firebase, you can use that as well. But we're going to create a new one. Unique project ID. We'll call it my next park. And we can uh, hit enter for the default here. So it'll just call it my next park. As our public directory, uh, we're actually going to put this to out instead of public. And then we can hit enter for the defaults for the rest. Okay, so that should be uh, good. Now, since this is a next project, I added this other um, script here called export. So when we're building a project that's uh, going to be used in production, uh, we need to build it and then export it to prepare a series of files that will be um, production ready. So you're not adding all of this extra like bloat. So what we can do now is do npm run build and npm run export. And we're going to run into an issue here. I'm going to control C out of this because I'm seeing the errors. So you'll notice that at the start of this terminal, you're getting a bunch of data. If we scroll uh, up quite a bit, you're seeing, okay, cool, data, data, data. And then we start getting these errors. And the issue here is that the National Park Service has some rate limiting. So in our park, we have uh, this get static paths, and it's pulling, we set the limit of 500. But unfortunately, we can't do that many requests simultaneously. And in the interest of getting this video up and to the point, we're just going to switch this to 10. This is not going to include your um, entire project. So I'll give you some ways that uh, that you can sort of deal with that if you want to get the, the full set here. But since this is in the interest of getting this up on Firebase hosting, I want to move forward first and then I'll loop back around. So I'm going to hit save here. I'm going to scroll back to the bottom of my terminal. And then I'm going to run that same command again, npm run build and npm run export. So now we successfully were able to build those pages. Now we're missing quite a few. We have the first uh, 10, uh, but we're missing the rest. So now what we can do is we can check our Firebase JSON should have been generated in the Firebase init process. Public should be set to out. If you defaulted and didn't set that in the terminal, this might say public, so you'll need to change it to out and hit save. And then we should have a Firebase RC with the default set to whatever you named your project. Now we can just run Firebase deploy. And that was pretty quick. You can see it uploaded our, uploaded our files. We can control click here. And there is our site live in the wild. So again, if I go to Acadia, that'll work. We can see it. If I go to something down below like Virgin Islands, it's going to give me a 404 because that page didn't get generated. So a couple of ideas for that. Uh, this is done with the hosting section, but if you are looking for some ideas here, what you can do is you can play with this uh, API endpoint so that 
you can keep the limit the same, but then do something. If I'm looking at the uh, API documentation, you can maybe do a set of 10. And then uh, once that set of 10 is done, you can increment this start dynamically in uh, your API call. You could also potentially do something where um, you are getting an array of the park codes and then using something like promise.all and making your endpoint something like this and then just looping through uh, your different API um, endpoints. You could also use a package like Bluebird. They've got a utility called promise.map where uh, it's similar to promise.all, but with your array, if one of your calls fails, it'll still continue um, so that you don't have the rest of your promises uh, error out. So those are some things to look into. But again, as I mentioned, in the interest of getting this up and running on Firebase hosting, wanted to take you through the steps there. So a good extension would be to uh, see if you can get the rest of these um, parks to show up so that you have your, your full project. But again, that's just a limitation of this particular API for the National Park Service. You may or may not run into that moving forward, but just something to think about. So thanks a lot for sticking with this entire project. If you have any questions, uh, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments. And until next time, have a good one.